and welcome to ASU TV tonight. I'm Easton John alongside my co-host, Ty Phillips. Ty, how are we doing today, buddy? Bro, I'm doing good. You're doing good? I can't complain. I'm not allowed to. You're not allowed to complain? Why, no. why, why aren't you allowed to complain? I was told I can't complain. Okay. Well, Ty, let's get right into the show, and let's get right off the bat with Talk of the Week. So, Ty, what do you want to talk about this week? What Very you, briefly. Very briefly? Very briefly. I just want to remind everyone, so the Eclipse is Monday, wear your safety glasses. If you're a student on campus, you can get them for free. I want to say it's on the second floor. I'd just be asking around. i say, hey, where can I get some free glasses? They will tell you. You need them to look at the Eclipse. You, I, like, I don't know if this for sure. because like, I do and don't mm -hmm. because, like, I... It's like some people say, oh, it's not real. But I believe like you could burn your eyes because of the eclipse. Yeah, I don't so know. if you do not, you will not be able to see anything. You will go blind. So wear your glasses. I There's about a thousand of them in the control room. <laughs> I want everyone to see this eclipse. I want people to see this safely. Yeah. Like I want it to be great. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, moving I care on. about people, you man. You care. I get I, it. Want, I, I, I know. I get so scared about this stupid eclipse <laughs> because it's like I want people to be safe. I want people to be good. And so I Don't want do it for the memes. Do, don't. Don't be do safe. Keep your eyes sight because it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. And I'm moving forward. That's just my so, nervousness coming out. I want people to be safe. So we're in a pickleball tournament, Ty. We're competing in a Hold on, I'm locking in. You're locking in? Here, let's see it. He was, we play, we practiced the other day, and I thought Ty wasn't having a good time with the group of, when we're, when we're playing uh, pickleball, but he's just locked in. That's just him, he doesn't talk, and that's, it scares the, the heebie-jeebies out of me. I can't talk and lock in. I can talk, but I won't be 100% in. And so when I am like, all right, bro, it's go time, I ain't talking. I'll, I'll talk, I'll say a couple words, but it is locked and it works daniel was loving it dude daniel i i i asked daniel like is he is he mad or something and he's like i don't know and he's just and i just look at ty and he's just it's this face all the time it's like the eyebrows are just down and just and there's like no wrinkles up here either which is crazy and it's just it, like that it's literally that oh, literally that look. do it again i got you hold on this is a look at me I'm sorry, I'm trying to lock it again. <laughs> oh, God, that's scary. See, that's just, Ty is the giddy guy, and, you know, when he's serious, I'm just like, he's mad. He's mad at something. Indeed. I wasn't mad, but I was, like, having to play, because what Easton didn't tell you <laughs> is Easton's like, yeah, a couple of my friends play. We're, we're, like, threes, twos, or a five scale. I'm like, twos and threes? I was like, okay. <laughs> and so I'm like, I mean, I would consider myself a two. I am a two. His friends were fours and fives no and didn't tell me. And so we go out there. There was a professional tennis player. There was a D1 <laughs> tennis player out there. And I was like, this is a load of crap. And then Daniel just was given just unknown ability of pickleball. I didn't know that. And then people are just serving it funny at me. And, like, I have to wait because the people are serving it with so much backspin. If I hit it, it just goes away so yeah sorry, I'm sorry he didn't so i had to lock I'm in sorry, and I'm then sorry. i'm also like a big trash shocker too but i only do it to certain people yeah and we'll get to that in a minute that's we gonna be a fun segment that. but also there's something different about you ty can you guys get get a good look at ty for a second just let's get a good look at him bro ty did you get a haircut i cut off the back part you cut off i had the a little mullet. mullet going on the mullet is gone i had it a little i wish we oh, i should have told sullivan if we could pull up an old pic oh that's okay i should have but mean, i wasn't seen thinking his face every week you know that he's had the mullet was that's ty that's the, he's the mullet guy to the mullet guy i've only had it for a year and so but i decided i was like man i'll tell you the story okay. it's so brief i get my hair cut i'm leaving and I had a mullet when I left. Mm -hmm. I had a little trim, nothing special. I called the guy back. I'm like, dude, I just had a change of heart. I'm coming back. I want you to cut off. If you got time, can you cut it off? And he said, I got you, bro. Come back. Vroom, vroom. No. 
it was so nice to go outside that and feel. And also, I'm trying to go for a more professional look. As you know. Come on now, Ty. As you know. Look, we have no a shot. shot. Mr. Sullivan. We're Perfect. Gonna, oh, my gosh. You can see. You can't see my face, but you can see the hair. That's all you yeah. need. Yeah. And it, it, see, I, it wasn't like a full grown, but it had like a little tail it to it. It had definition. And I decided to go for a more professional look. I mean, Sullivan knows what I'm talking about. He's seen students in and out. And, you know, it could, that haircut is such a college haircut. Yeah. You want something that's a little clean cut, but nice, shows a little personality. I, you know, I decided I'm going to want a job. I'm going to look nice. I'm going to want, you know, because yours is a clean cut. You got to buy it to lean and Jamie in. Right there. See, you got a clean cut. So, like, I feel like it, you want to do long hair, do it, man. But if you, I just know kind of moving for what I want to do, I want to be more professional. Sometimes you got to look professional. I'm going to grow my hair out again. <laughs> I better come back during when you're getting your master's. Or when I come back. Dude, this is going to be a poof. Just a poof. Just a poof. I can't use sea salt spray. It poofs my hair too much. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know what that is. You don't know what sea salt spray is? It, like, helps texture. Like, it helps, like, curly hair. This is what I... This, this guy over here. Dude. <laughs> this guy. You don't want to see... Dude, have you... What's your, like, morning routine? Morning routine? For your hair. For my hair? For your hair. Yeah, so basically what we do is... there. It's a process. Talene doesn't, Talene doesn't even do it right sometimes. I have to show her. So basically, you get some warm water. Warm. Warm water. Because I hate cold water. I just hate feeling cold water. It's just uh, like yeah. you want to be comfortable. So, you know, you, you style it how you want it. You get some hair. You get some water up in there. And then you get the blow dryer. And you blow dry it. And you sort of shape it how you want it. Okay. And then you get, this is what I use, your, your Kerastase hair product. You get some like, like a nail-sized one. Like like a nail sized clump of hair gel. Do you use your nail as a scale? Yeah. Do you scoop it up yep. like? Yep. Like that. Yep. Okay. And then you know you go in there and you just get it all around in your hair and then you just and you you form it and then you hit it with the ask Sully how he does. It. No, <laughs> Mr. Solomon, he do you... does it. He does it with class. <laughs> he does it with class. He does it with class. My dad's. Uh, he he doesn't have hair, but my dad does it with class too. But then you get the hair dryer and you just form it. Form and then and then, and you, then. Come, you come in with that the Kerastase spray. So you spray around. There is so much forms. more. And then that forms it. Windex. Oh and my a rag. gosh! No, Mr. Sullivan. No. He's got the Mr. Clean Clean. That was Tristan that typed it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I thought he was for real. I was like, no way. That thing's glossy. And I was like. Mr. Clean up in here. It is clean clean. <laughs> See. Oh, my gosh. You do a lot. I yeah. don't even own a hair dryer. Really? I, I It's at my, like, back home. But, like, I don't use a hair dryer in the morning. I do have a very, like, strict routine, though. Yeah. It's. In the morning or at night, it, it's a it's twenty four hours process. Right? Yeah, we already know you like to shower. Right? Yeah, 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 but you know, every night, you know, I shampoo and then I condition. But then after, I brush my hair out, get all the particles dust out of your hair from the day, and then you go to bed. You wake up, get cold water. God, I like cold water. Cold. It wakes you up in the morning. Also, I just need water for my hair to curl. Man, I hope this is the right button. Is that the right button? Turn it up. Turn it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, man. <laughs> You're hating on the hair, bro. Okay. And then you get a little bit of product. You get your sea salt spray. You mm -hmm. What more? A little product. Put it in there. You let it dry. Come back in with some sea salt. Perfect. Every time. Some sea salt. Gotta love it. Perfect. So. What, what, what else is there? Oh. I'm actually su super excited. Pickleball tourney. Mm -hmm. Me, yeah, yeah, we didn't go into detail. We did it. <laughs> oh, shoot. I, I'm going to go into this more. Me and Easton teamed up. We've never played together. We've played on two different sides. All right. Mm -hmm. As I said, I'm used to playing at that two level. Easton's playing at seven. All right. He is all in. And so we have this tournament. I am excited for the tournament because it's to help a good cause. It's to help with hunger. hunger. 
Sure. And um, it's really good. It's a, I think it's a philanthropy event. I'm not too sure. So for it, though, we have to be there at 7.45 a.m. Oh. Uh, on this terrible. news desk, man, I haven't made, I barely made it to my 8 a.m. Yeah, no. Barely made it to my 8 a.m. How do they expect me to show up? How? And show out. And. At 7.45? 45. And there's no snacks? Nope. nope. I'm just saying, I'm going to be grumpy. He's going to be a little grumpy. We'll be locked in and yeah, grumpy. He's going to be locked in. He's got to make sure I get me a snack. But is there anything else you want to talk about for the talk? Yes, I do. Is there? Really? I texted Easton John and said, dude, found the funniest TikTok. What's your TikTok? Let me send it to you. He had the audacity. I don't have a TikTok. I don't. I don't have TikTok. But you quote TikToks with me. I know, but I just don't. I do, whenever I look at TikToks. Why don't you have it? Why don't I have TikTok? Uh, just because I have Instagram Reels, and I feel like that's all I need. You know, I don't need. I don't need them both. You know, I don't need. I don't need. Hit that button. What this one? (laughs) Man, dude, I just, I just don't like having two like short form content things because I feel like then I'd be locked into my phone. You know, that's the thing, bro. They're two forth. different types of short keep form. Can't so, keep up. <laughs> Instagram reels are more meme based. Mm-hmm. When you get to the TikToks, you're getting more like active like product reviews. You're getting more like engaging stuff. Mm-hmm. With reels, I feel like you're getting more regurgitated. I know. It's just, I just never, like, have ever... Know your worth, King. I never want... I've never wanted TikTok. Like, I've never, like, tried to have an account on TikTok. I just have my Instagram reels, my memes, sometimes cooking videos, like how to, like, cook a steak, like a dry-aged steak will be will show up a couple times. Tristan, I hope you're making some graphic about him right <laughs> no, now. No, don't. Please, jeez, no. no. But, no, so dry-aged... St- I mean, I watch cooking videos. Yeah, I watch I could, the haircut videos. Yeah, I, just memes, uh, cooking videos, and then you have your, your occasional uh, The Kid the Roy. All right, well, we have to move on, Ty, to our next segment. When we come back, we're going to talk about strengths and weaknesses between Ty and I. You won't want to miss it on ASU TV tonight. I think one of the things I learned at Arkansas State was life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you respond to it, and that's just something that I live by. A-State is home, and they're going to treat you like you're a part of the family. Students should watch ASU TV just to see the creativity that a college student can get. The creativity that some of these students have is, is truly amazing. Getting that experience can really just take you further and I feel like our program does that for a lot of students.
Welcome back to ASU TV tonight. My name is Easton John. Alongside me, Ty Phillips. Ty, strengths and weaknesses. We all have them. We all have them. Yes. No one doesn't have a strength. No one doesn't have a weakness. Yes. So let's start off right off the bat. I think we're going to start off with my strengths and weaknesses from what I could bring to the table. Af with, with athletics wise. Athletic wise, with you know, with anything, but mostly pickleball. We'll go. We'll mostly go into like why. You know, what, what are and my then strengths? we're going to explain our duo and yeah. how we overcame these. Yeah, so if we want to hit Easton's strengths and weaknesses, we have a Venn diagram. One, I know you can't see that one, but it's there. Quickness. I'm a little quick. That, You're very quick. Very I love quick. it. I'm quick on the court. And we go to number two. Knowing before knowing. I know where people are going. That's the thing. Like, if I know I'm hitting a, a backhand, I know it's they're going to hit some awkward hit. Yeah. And, and it's going to, you know, go in a wild spot, and I'm going to hit it to the other side and get them. So, so. you like to pre-think your plays. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I pre-think. That's the thing. Like, when I'm playing, like, ba whether it's baseball, basketball, uh, or pickleball, I'm just, like, thinking before what I should do, you know? Yeah. So, like, if, you know, in that situation I gave you, I'm making sure that I'm – Knowing before knowing, that's all. Knowing but if we go to knowing. the third one, having the Pat Mahomes mindset. What? Doing whatever it takes to win that point <clears throat> is what I am set on when I play these games. Okay. I'm making sure that, you know, even if it's a backwards pass or a, a behind-the-back, you know, sort of mm -hmm. pickleball hit, I'm going to make it happen. I want to make sure that ball gets over the net and we get the point. So I'll do whatever it takes to get a get points up on the board. Whatever it takes, yeah, whatever he says. Whatever it takes, Thanos. Whatever that's in Avengers. I, I I've seen I I've know. seen the franchise. You've seen the franchise, Mister John. Weaknesses. If we go to weaknesses here. I am way too competitive. That's the thing. I am so competitive that it's not even funny. Like, I will. I've yelled at my mom. I'll say that. I've yelled at Karen John for when we played pickleball together. Not Karen. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Mom. I've I've yelled at I I've not yelled. We've well, just, you just said you yelled at Karen, so did you yell or didn't you? I didn't it was like a quiet yell. Yeah, how do you quiet yell at someone? Quiet yell. Uh it's and we just butt heads, you know, we're just going at it. Are you and your mom similar? Yes. So me and mom That's where I get my athletic abilities, not from Russ. Not, Not from, from the Rusty? From Karen. From the Rusty John? Karen is a little athletic person. Really? Cheerleader. You know, she's got the ability. I can do a back handspring. Okay. No, I'm not going to do one right now because I don't want to break my neck, and I haven't done one in a while. So if we go to number two for uh, my weaknesses here, it's, man, I am in my head way too much. I get in my head, and I'm just thinking about things, and I'm like, dang it, Easton. You're so stupid. Get in, get your head in the game, you know, and I'll just get in my head, especially when we're playing volleyball. Because, wow, that's insane. Graphics. That's crazy. What just happened? Oh, hey, he's what, back. Oh, gosh, I just got, I felt like I was. Oh, know, like, and. In a, wait, what? Oh, I thought Dustin got up, but it was Tristan. That's like going in my head or something. That, that was like my going in my head. But yeah, like when I'm playing volleyball, I'll get in my head. I'm like, dang it, Easton. Why are you doing this stuff? Come on, man. Come on. And then if we go to number three, the last thing on my weaknesses, taking over too much. I think I take over a little bit too much. Like, sometimes I'll hit the ball when we're playing, when me and Ty are playing. I'll, like, go and just do things that, you know, I should just let Ty get it done. You know, sometimes fine, I'll take dude. it over too much. And I need to work on that. I just need to work on it just a little bit, and then I'll be great. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll be the great. The competitive is not is never going to go down. That's just, I don't that's think just, the competitive can be a strength and a weakness. Sometimes you need that killer mentality, yeah. and not a lot of people have that. Exactly. Like I don't really. Like I I'm competitive. I'm very competitive, but in my own way. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just a difference to it. But well, that brings us to my strength. Yeah. And let's see what ties are. I can't wait to see these. All right. So let's pull them up. Number one. Strengths. Mass. I'm a big boy. Oh, we're just rolling them. I can read the ball, but I'm also a big boy. I got a lot of, you know, I'm stronger. All right. I, I'm kind of bigger. I cover 
more area of the court. So if you hit it to me, I'm going to, like, if, you can't miss me, dude. <laughs> I'm going to hit it back. <laughs> All right, mass. That's my thing. I'm able to cover a lot of it, and I'm, like, you know, I'm bigger. So I'm yeah, able to, strong, I can kind of, I can stay behind and then, like, strong arm over, backhand and fronthand. you got the power. That's a, he's got the power, man. I got the power. I got I, the power. Oh, it wasn't He Man. It's like, he I have, have the power. power. He Man. I've never yeah. seen He Man. I've just seen that one thing off uh, Family Guy. Oh, my. Next God. one. So we already saw the. the, the We're going to see one, it yeah. again. Reading the ball. I know when the ball's going, when it's in the air, just from baseball. Mm -hmm. I can also read people. So I know when people are upset. I, and that kind of goes into yeah. my other one. And I also, like, when someone, like, makes an. like. For instance, when I play Easton, I know Easton's in that don noggin. Mm -hmm. So I chirp a little bit. I, I I say, hey, Easton, what's going on, man? And, or I'll, like, say something, and I just try to get in there. Yeah. But this last one is – I you told me this one. This one's the, My last one's funny, I think. Yeah, because, I mean, you just went into Trash it. talking. Yeah. My whole family is a bunch of trash talkers. So from a young age, I know exactly what's – I don't normally do it. I only do it if I don't, like, if they're irritating me. Or if I, because I can kind of be a sore loser. So if I'm losing pretty bad, mm -hmm. I let it run. But I, I know when to stop, but it's like I stop at the line. Mm -hmm. Like I should stop a little before I stop at the line. There we go. I love it. And then I apologize later. <laughs> I, it's classic time. Move. I always like, I'm, I'm sorry. so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, go to the weaknesses. Let's see. Weaknesses. Speed, I ain't fast. If the ball, <laughs> if the, that kind of hits me with the mass part, if I, because like me and Easton will play, and me and Easton kind of have a thing where like, if this goes on my side, man, you got to go get it. Because <laughs> I, I really can't get there. It's not like I don't want to. It's I can't physically get there. You can't. You're like I'm running, but it ain't working. <sighs> and I'm. Yeah. What do you think your 40 time is, by the way? Can we? Probably like rookie Tom Brady. <laughs> oh man, I've been meaning to. I, actually, we would talk next week. We're going to have a forty time for Ty Calvin Phillips the third. That's awesome. <laughs> I've like, never heard you say your full name before. <laughs> I'm not even the third. It was wild. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I didn't even think you were. So, what's the other weaknesses you got, Ty? I can't control. It. I got the power. Can't control it too well. There's many times where I overdo it or don't do it. Like, I can't I, – I have don't have that gauge yet because there's times, like, me and Easton will be playing. And you get a close-up on Easton's face right now. He gets – like, because we were playing a game, and I just, boom, went over. And dude was already in his head. We were down, and I just did not talk to Easton for a minute. I was like, <laughs> yeah. bro, I made a mistake. Yep. I I Because I one time, like – airmailed it like that thing went to the bleachers <laughs> yeah dude he, and like, it was, it was a backhand like it was it shouldn't have gone I was like, like dude it was like Barry <laughs> bonds just like dude. roided it up and hit a home run i almost bat flipped man <laughs> i was like oh i'm getting pumped danger <laughs> that goes to my third bring up the third being able to close I can't close a game i choke you, you when i was able to close the other day because i was locked in but if I'm not mentally locked in or if it's super close, I because when it's close and it's neck and neck, I can't really lock in because I get in my head. Yeah. I can only lock in if I'm down or if I'm up. And yeah. I can keep that, but it's only there. That, that's kind of my downside because yeah. then I start laughing and I start, like, giggling. <laughs> and then, like, I mess it up. I'm like, no! And giggling so I, I'm not a closer. I can't close. Giggling is... <laughs> I can't believe you used that word. Giggling? I giggle. Dude. I feel like everyone giggle. You've giggled. I know. That's just, I've heard someone giggle like a little bit ago. <laughs> just, but so that was our strengths and weaknesses. Now our duo. Yeah, hey, this is how we, we play the game. So you, so me and Easton, mm -hmm. both totally opposite to what we do. All right. We don't really, we share some strengths. Mm-hmm. Like our competitiveness. That like, Pat Holmes mentality, we're going to do whatever. I don't stop playing the game until the game is done. Mm -hmm. If I'm down 10 to 1, I want to be down 10 to 2. Like, I want to bring up some point so it doesn't look right. as bad. So, how we – this is how we work the court. Mm -hmm. We have Easton up front, all right? He's, like, in front of the kitchen for those who are – Yep. I'm in the back court. I don't know if I should take offense to this. 
and I did not tell him I'm going to bring this up. Mm-hmm. Oh. Bro compared me to Talene. No, not in a bad way, bro. That not in a bad way. He said, way. "Man, Talene, you play a lot like my girlfriend." I Talene was like, is yeah, no. Talene plays just you play just like Talene, and she is, dude. She is insane at pickleball, and that's the thing. I <laughs> said so she's insane. Yeah, she played tennis, so she she's really good. And I'm not. It's not a diss. I swear, because Talene is insanely is is really good, but it's it was not a diss. Swear. So we're gonna have. A tournament coming up to him on Saturday. And Easton's going to have a black eye because Ty hit. <laughs> no, Dude, could you imagine we lose? <laughs> Easton! Boom! Dude, just, <laughs> Top rope. Dude, just, we have like an eye patch. You have two eye patches. Ty, I can't see. The, I use the eclipse glasses. Oh, man. That'd hey, this is Easton Dome with ACU TV. TV. Yeah, I'd be like, I come back. Hey, guys, welcome to ACU TV tonight. I got injured again doing pickleball. I've gotten injured twice in a row, and it's from the same thing. Your I've, scar's healed up. Yeah, I know. I've, I've hit myself in the face with a pickleball paddle twice. Yeah, it's happening. You can kind of see the blemish. Yeah, I know. It's just, one's right here, and one is right there. So. You ain't got to see it. I mean, I'm also super excited though for this yes. pickleball tournament. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna, we might win, we might lose. Yeah. I'm not too upset. We're, we're having fun we're for having fun. great cause too. We're having fun, and that does it for this segment of ASU TV tonight. When we come back, we're gonna do a two truths and a lie. You're not gonna want to miss it. Come on back now. say experience counts, it's experience that counts for a lifetime. Boxes, boxes, I cannot fit in the boxes. Stop it, stop it, quitting was never an option. Exhausted, exhausted, this passion is never exhausted. And you cannot stop it, nah, you cannot stop it. Students should watch ASU TV just to see the creativity that a college student can get. The creativity that some of these students have is, is truly amazing. Getting that experience can really just take you further, and I feel like our program does that for a lot of students. I think one of the things I learned at Arkansas State was life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you respond to it, and that's just something that I live by. A-State is home, and they're gonna treat you like you're a part of the family. Welcome back to ASU TV tonight. My name is Easton John, Ty Phillips, my co-host. So we're going to try something a little different. I've loved this game, especially on the first day of classes, and you've probably done it before. It's two truths and a lie. Da -da 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 -da. Roll that animation graphic. Roll that animation graphic. We'll edit it. Roll the graphic. Oh, there we go. So yeah, two truths and a lie. Ty, do you want me to start off? Yes. All right, I will start off. I have them on a sticky note. I have See, I'm going monster off the dome, okay. man. I have taken BP and shagged BP for the Royals. Okay. I met Pat Mahomes at a party. Okay. I have assigned baseball by Royals Hall of Famer, George Brett. Would you like me to repeat any of those? So I know I I think if you have if you have any questions I'll I'll answer them. Where was this party? It was in Power and Light, and you've been there. 
and you physically shook his hand and met him. Yeah, because he was in a VIP section. One of my friends, Mark Hallier, went up to me and said, hey, you want to meet Pat? And so I, I went up to him and met Pat. What right was your up. reaction? Oh, I couldn't breathe. My hand, was, sh- my hand yeah. was sweaty. Why haven't you ever told me this before? I've told you before. No, you have not. I haven't? No. Yeah, so when, at Power and Light, Pat Mahomes is in the VIP what section. What day? This was during 2021 after COVID. So What's the reopened. day? You would not forget the day. Oh, it was July 14th, 2021. You wouldn't remember the day. No, it was. I think that's cause, really why. Because my dad's birthday Ugh. was right before. There's a lot that. of details in yeah. that. Yep. Okay. So who signed your ball again? George Brett. Royals Hall of Famer. How'd you get that? Uh, grandma gave it to me. Grandparents. I think the two Royals are the truths, and I think the last Pat Mahomes. Why do you think that? Because I think you would have gone crazy, and you would have told the story a lot sooner. You think? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's a, well, it's a lie. Yeah, I've never met Pat Mahomes. I, the only the closest interaction I've had with Pat Mahomes Woo! is at the parade, actually. And you told me that. Yeah, I did. And, and so it pays I, to listen. It pays fellas. to listen. But yeah, I've shagged. I've I've taken BP and shagged BP with the Royals. Um, that wasn't far fetched to me because, mm-hmm. like, I know the Cardinals. Like, baseball. Like, was it a showcase hype deal? Was it like a summer camp thing or no? Like. Um, one of, it was for like a baseball, like our baseball team. Yeah. Baseball team got did an like an auction thing, and one of them was like take BP and um, shag balls with Alex Gordon, Royals greatness right there. Uh, what it was that? What bro was, code Easton. Wait, what is it? I don't know. What did it say? Can we pop it back up? I want to see it again. What? Did, I I just I didn't catch it. That's. That breaks bro code Easton. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't get it. I don't. Uh, yeah, that's. Don't worry about Don't it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so Ty, do you want to go? Yeah, man, I got I'm going to mess this up. All right. I have never been on syndicated radio. You got that? Mm-hmm. All right. I ran track in junior high. Okay. You got it? Mm-hmm. All right. And I've made a commercial that played at the movie th- at the movies. I think, oh, man. I think you did, wait, you said ran track and field? I ran in track. So you were running like 100 meters, like. In junior high, yes. That's the thing. I don't don't think you did that. That's the thing. You think? Because you you said speed is your weakness. But it's junior high. What was the first one? It was was like seventh grade. You've been on radio. You've been on radio. Um, you want me to repeat myself? No, because then I think you've also made a commercial at the movie theater. No. I, I'm going to repeat myself. Okay. And as I'm going down the list, okay, I've wh- never been on syndicated radio. I ran never- track in junior high. And so, like eighth, so like eighth and So junior high for me was seventh through ninth grade. Oh, okay. And... I've had a I've had a commercial play at the movies what or commercial? at a movie premiere. What was the commercial? It was for a radio station. The one that you currently work at? Yes. What year was this? It was last year. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I think See, that's the thing. That's a tough one. I got you really two close ones. Two yeah. close like three close calls. I think you did wait. Thinking now, thinking like that, you did track eighth or seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. Makes me think you did, because you said the year. And you never. What was the first one? The first one was I've never been on syndicated radio. You have. No, it's correct. I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with three's the lie. Three's the lie. Yeah. All right. Three's the truth. I had my commercial get played. At a outdoor movie premiere. No way. This past summer. And uh, I never ran track. 
I knew it. I never it. ran track. I oh, threw. I threw in time. track. I second guessed myself. I was a thrower, but I yes, never yeah, you, ran. You did the. N I did shot put oh, disc. I know that. And I've never been on. Now you gotta use your degree on this. Syndicated radio, Mr. Sullivan, where it's getting broadcasted to everyone. I've been on FM and AM, but not syndicated. Wow. Use your degree, baby. Use your degree. I know. I knew you. I, I, yeah, that's the thing. I, I, I knew the first one. I knew. Because I had to like. Mine was in. like. He's not. I was like. He's never brought up. Heart hands before. back at you, Sully. What? All right. So you want me to go now? Yeah, it's your turn, bro. Okay. I've gotten bit by a goose. I've been attacked by a deer, okay. and I've held an iguana. I don't think you held an iguana. I don't. Th I believe nope. everything but the iguana. Why? Because the iguana's too tame. I feel like everything else has happened. Oh, hold on. Let me think. Okay. So when did you get attacked by the said deer? The deer was in 2017 when I first went hunting with my uncle. And I've never told this before to you because it's embarrassing. Because, like, literally the deer ran right up to us because we missed. And it ran right up to us and kind of, like, kicked snow at us, and it scared the living Did you traffic. hit it? Huh? Don't go into detail, because it could be gruesome. No, I But did missed. you hit the deer, and is that no. why it attacked you? No, we missed. So it, it, like, freaked out and ran towards us and kicked snow up at us and scared the crap out of us. So it didn't physically hit you? It didn't physically It didn't run away? It ran at you? It ran towards us, yes. It was wild. This thing literally did a 180 spin and just ran right in front of us and kicked, like, snow at us. And This is, this is very odd for a deer to do. That, that's it's, just for me. I know. It the was, goose thing, I believe, where? Really? The, yes, because there's been multiple, like, reports of geese attacking. Now, why did you get bit by this goose? I was three, and I was feeding it bread. Yep, I believe that. Okay, I think you never held an iguana. That's, that's, that's actually a true you, thing. I've you never have? been attacked by a deer. Who, why would a deer attack somebody? No, why would some a deer? people do. Have you never seen Tommy Boy? <laughs> yeah, I have. Dude, <laughs> if I should have I should have referenced that movie and said we were in a Oh man, that would have been If I just Dude, that was good though. Yeah, the iguana. I, I didn't see that coming. I held an iguana in Mexico, actually. Ah. Yeah, which see, I did not That was hold just that so thing. tame to me. I'm like, that's the lie. I like, never I didn't even want to hold the thing cuz <laughs> it was just so weird. And it was like scaly and again Sharp claws, and I'm yeah. like, Talene's like, just do it. I'm just like, dang it. Dang it. You just like hold it dang like it. this. Take the picture. Let's go. Let's take the picture. I got food to eat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Ty, what's your last one? Okay. Um, all right, I got it. I've been to the Grand Canyon, or, yeah. I've been it's to. Already starting off. I've been to Mount Rushmore. All right. Okay. You stumbled on that one. I did. I've been to Arizona, and I fell off a cliff. <sighs> Please, I hope the falling off the cliff thing is true. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please be true. Uh, I think you've been to Arizona. I don't think. When was Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore. Ooh, I'm trying to think. Oh, it was at my sister's lie. last summer as a in high school. And so she was going to college and it was the last time our family was going to be together. You said Grand Canyon at first. I did. And then you switched it to Arizona. So I'm going to say just because you stumbled out on that one and I hope <laughs> to God. <laughs> That the cliff thing is true. Please. I'm going with number one's the lie. Number one, so Mount Rushmore? Yeah. No, I've been to Mount Rushmore. I've never yeah. been to Arizona. Oh, you've never been to Arizona? Nope. Oh, but the, my God. But the cliff is true. I <laughs> fell off a cliff. Yes. And it is exactly how Tell it Tell the sounds. story. 
Okay, so we went. It was true. The Mount Rushmore thing was true. We went on a huge road trip. We went to the Badlands. Went to Yellowstone. We went to all that for my sister's final. Bro is comfy right now. Look at men's. And uh, can we get a shot on Easton right now? Look how comfy bro is. And so I we went to this like it was in Colorado, and it was like called like Hanging Falls. Mm-hmm. And I at the time I had my cousin Will, and he was super sweet and I loved Will. And he was big into rocks. I saw this really cool rock. And so I went to go pick it up. And as I stepped towards the edge, the whole, like, it was like in a movie. The ground below me fell. Now, we weren't up top on this cliff, but we were like, oh, uh, below us was the Colorado River running through. And so my feet go out from under me. Like everything falls. And I go. <laughs> and my dad and my mom's tying her shoe behind me. Like, she does not see any of this. My dad says one minute he's sitting there with his, my sister looking. Next minute, I am gone. Oh and my I God. fall. And as I fall, there is a huge boulder next to me. And so I wrap around it and just hug it tight. And I'm, like, in the ninth grade. That's crazy. Athleticism was peak then. <laughs> and so I grab it, and I don't make a big deal because I don't want to freak my mom out. I was like, Dad, help me up. Because I just got the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> and so <laughs> underneath, I just see the rapids just, <sighs> just they are piling through. And so, so like, oh, my dad's like, oh, and the dude Bo is like, oh, and picks me up. I'm bleeding. I'm cut up because the oh, rocks yeah, shredded my legs. Do you have, like, scars still from it? No. I mean, it was, like, scrapes. It wasn't, like, anything crazy. Dude, that's so funny. I have a scar from when I stabbed myself with a sword. That'll be next week's that episode. That'll be next week's episode. Well, Ty, do you have anything else to say before we wrap it up? Yeah, lock in, baby. Lock it's in. coming into the finals time. It's time to lock in. Please wear your glasses. Please wear the Come glasses. Monday. Please remember to wear your glasses. Hopefully, if, it's, hopefully it's not cloudy. I hope it's not cloudy. It's a cool thing. It's the one. It, for some, like for some people, might consider this a once in a lifetime. I think it's coming in like twenty years, right? Twenty. I have no idea. I'm not. He's coming in like 20 years. So Ty's we're going to be. Listen, guys, we're going to be older when the next eclipse comes. Enjoy it while we can. Mm-hmm. All right. Wear these. Okay. Wear them. Wear I them. cannot stress it enough. Thank you guys for watching ASU TV tonight. My co host, Ty Phillips, Easton John. We'll see you next time. Have a good eclipse day.